this ball game. Now, let's transition, right? Later in the ball game, we just saw Daquan caused a big time turnover, and guess who benefited from that turnover? RJ McIntosh. Now they're gonna they're gonna flip roll. Roll reversal here. RJ is now going to cause havoc and create a, 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 a turnover for his counterpart in Jaquan Johnson. RJ is right here. The thing I love about RJ, he's so disruptive. And anytime you're trying to cross the face of a defense alignment, you need to be extremely quick and fast because if you don't do so, he's gonna be able to create and cause he's gonna be able to cause damage in the gap. And that's what he's able to do. Right here. He crosses face, he crosses the face of the office alignment. And now, this is a pass play. He will have an open receiver right here. But because of uh, uh, Mr. McIntosh being so disruptive, he's able to have a free range yeah, to the quarterback. Yeah. And now, he's running for his life. But guess who comes up with the big time play? This was an unbelievable play by Mr. Johnson. Another turnover for Miami. These are pivotal points in the ball game. Only up 11. Clearly, Virginia Tech, they were in cruise control, driving to the red zone. Shout out to AJ once again. You created that chain for Miami. Me and AJ go way back. I'm trying to figure out what happened to you being creative for Florida State. I understand. You're a bit biased, AJ. That's no problem. But they're contagious. Turnovers are now contagious in that secondary for Miami. The entire defense array, and that's why you're seeing so many turnovers. The last three ball games, four turnovers from that Miami defense. This defense, now if that offense can do what they're supposed to do, and I don't know if they can get four turnovers every night. Yeah, I mean, when you look at what they've been able to do the last games, because they have been a bit inconsistent from time to time off. Offense, extra possession. Back of the club. 